Hey, welcome to Infinix's weekly office hours. Today, we are joined by Katie Lennon, who is the Strategic Partnership Manager at Raintree Solutions. Well, glad to have you, Katie. Thanks, Randy. Glad to be here. Well, cool. Let's just jump into it. So, um, would you be, can you share some of the major administrative challenges that physical therapy practices commonly face, particularly talking about insurances and prior authorizations? Yeah, so... I think in general, um, PT practices have a lot of challenges when it comes to insurance, but in relation to prior auth, um, you know, some of the challenges could just be initially getting that right information from the patient. So making sure you have the right policy number, demographics, reason. So when you go to the insurance company, you can actually provide the right information. So you're not having to restart the, po uh, the process because it is quite a process. Um, and then, you know, every insurance company is going to have a different way that you need to engage with them, whether it's via the phone, their website, or portal, and all of them come with their own kind of unique challenges. You know, if you need to call them up to give them all of the information, you could be on hold or your front desk or admin can be on hold for anywhere from like a couple minutes to there are some insurance companies that you can be on hold for two hours. Um, so that is a significant amount of time that somebody needs to be dedicated just on hold. Um, and then even when you are on hold, you might have, you know, a list of 10, 15, 20 patients that you need to run benefits for. And they might say, nope, we're only going to do 10. So now you have to start that whole process and that whole hold time all over again. Um, so it does take a lot of time. It's very, very time consuming. That's a big challenge um, when dealing with insurance on that front end. And then when, if you're not having to go through the phone and you end up going through their portal or website, sometimes even the information you initially get from it isn't the most up-to-date or the most accurate. So it's not matching what the patient's benefits actually are. So those are a couple of challenges. Um, that you might run into, you know, before a patient even walks through the door when dealing with insurance. Right. And getting, you know, accurate insurance information from the patients is always a challenge. And then, of course, hold times are the death of some of us. So yeah. we're, we're all very aware of that. So no, that's a good answer. Thank you. And I um, think then, oh, one no, more thing ahead. there. I think the other thing is it's so important to get that right information because of the No Surprises Act. So you want to be able to get that correct information and relay it to the patient so that you're able to eventually bill and that the patient isn't surprised by any bill that they may receive. So you're giving the patient the right information. That's a really good point. And that kind of brings me into my next point. So, you know, talking about insurances, one of the big things you know, one of the big challenges a lot of practices have is around prior authorizations. So specifically in physical therapy, do you know, you know, of any trends that, that you're seeing that would kind of change this landscape? Yeah, so I think what we're seeing right now, or what we're kind of in the midst of is going from this paper component, this large human element component, and we're transitioning to more of electri electronic prior auths, uh, more automation, that's for sure. And I think what you're going to end up seeing is, again, just more of that automation, but even more so AI. And it might not be right now, maybe kind of coming down the line, like the ability to analyze the medical records, treatment plans, insurance policies to determine the medical necessity and generate those auth requests at a much faster rate. Um, so hopefully we'll be seeing faster turnaround times, which will be good for everybody. Um, and I think the last thing, too, is the policies and legislation that's occurring right now. Um, because nothing is standardized, every insurance company has different ways to want to contact them, what requirements are needed. So really a standardization or somewhat of a consolidation of things. Um, I think that's what you're going to be seeing in policies and legislations coming forth. And then... The other thing is also like when if you happen to get a denial and your denial might say, you know, does not meet criteria, instead of just saying does not meet criteria, the hope would be they're going to be able to give you more information or they're going to have to give you more information so that you can appeal appropriately. Yeah, that's a really good insight there. 
Um, and I would definitely say, you know, automation is probably at the top of every leadership um, role that's involved in the revenue cycle. So very, very important. And the different payer requirements by portal, getting a standardized list of requirements and outputs is, is very, very important. And it is a challenge. Um, and that kind of brings you to my next point. So, you know, looking at physical therapy, because I know Raintree is obviously working with a lot of outpatient therapy practices. You know, what is the greatest, um, you know, difficulty that you see that the practices that you work with have with prior auth? Yeah, so some people before they even come on to Raintree when they're dealing with prior auth, um, they might not have a very integrated system and they may be re still relying on paper and spreadsheets to track their prior auths, track their denials, their reasons, when they need to uh, update a prior auth as well. So Raintree is definitely able to help with that. Um, but that's a challenge for a lot of practices that are still dealing with paper. Um, and then I think a lot of practices have a dedicated team or a person um, because it is so complex and so time consuming, you really need to know what you're doing and the differences between all of the insurances. So not only just how you submit or how to contact the insurance company in the first place or which way to contact them, but also what you need to do in order to submit for prior auth, whether it's, you know, filling out an additional form, what other papers that you might need attached to that prior auth. Um, so knowing all of that and having the right staff available to know that information, that can be a challenge because if that person is out on PTO or leaves the company, you might be in a big problem if somebody else isn't aware of that information. Yeah, that's a really good point. You know, especially looking at physical therapy practices and kind of the requirements of physical therapy, you know. You can, you know, some payers give you authorizations in units, some give them in visits. Like you said, some require different forms to be filled out every time. So it's a lot of information. And if, like you said, if, if turnover is high and you lose those SMEs, how are you going to handle that moving forward? And that's why, you know, maybe looking at a partnership with Raintree, you know, and that's and now we're partnered with, with Raintree as well, Infinix is. So we're very happy about that. So definitely something to think about as you move forward with the revenue cycle. Yeah. And I think too, you know, turnaround times can be anywhere between 24 to 72 hours for approval. Some insurances even have, you know, up to 14 days for before you'll get an approval. So as a company or as an individual, you're going to really have to decide, okay, I did my evaluation. I need prior off. I'm waiting for it. What do I do? Do I treat this patient? Do I not treat them? Do I treat them with the risk of not getting the off and then having to write off that debt? or absorb that debt, um, those are big decisions for, for clinics to make, especially when you're just seeing more people needing prior auth and these long times to get them. Right, no, that's a very important point because sometimes we get lost in this revenue cycle world where we're dealing with numbers and payers and all this good stuff, but really what, it, what, what it's affecting is patient care. And like you said, if you don't have an authorization, you might hold patient care. And that person now can't get treatment and they're going to be injured for longer. So it always comes back to the patient. Yeah. And if that patient, that patient's ready to be treated, you don't want them walking out that door, not having that next appointment booked. You want to make sure that, you know, those appointments are booked so that they're having a positive experience and they're coming back to the clinic. Right. That's a great point. Okay. Well, let's talk about compliance because we know compliance should always be the top of everybody's mind. So, you know, how would you say most physical therapy groups ensure compliance with insurance companies when submitting for prior authorization requests? Yeah, I think this goes back to having, you know, that trained person or that trained dedicated team because there's so much training and education. You really need like a subject magic matter expert in this area because there's so many differences and nuances between insurance company and insurance company you need somebody well versed in it um so you know providing them with different references or online portals and then also giving them the ability and access and time to have that regular communication with the different insurance companies attending their meetings their conference calls webinars uh, with the different insurance companies so that they can be most up to date on what's going on. And then I think the other thing practices can do is really, you know, lean into and rely on their EMR or their practice management software um, 
you know, it's going to help streamline and automate the process, but it's also going to really reduce human errors. All really good insight. And you had mentioned something earlier about, you know, being integrated versus like maybe, you know, having a revenue cycle team who's working on paper. And when you start talking about compliance, an integrated system is very important because we have, you know, set up the right information to flow every single time. When you're dealing with paper or maybe spreadsheets or anything like that, you might think you work X, but you're, now you're pulling patient Y's information and that's a compliance issue. So when you have API systems, integration systems set up that give you the standardized set of data that you need every time, that reduces the amount of compliance issues that you have right off the bat. Yeah, it definitely makes it easier for the clinic to work through that process. For sure. Okay, good stuff on compliance. Now let's talk about staffing shortages because you know we're, we're feeling the effects in multiple different industries, but I know um, in the revenue cycle side, we're feeling it too. So how would you say that you know, the current staffing shortages is affecting you know, physical therapy practice in terms of eligibility benefits, prior authorizations, that type of stuff? Yeah, I mean, PT practices, rehab practices, I mean, they're, they're feeling the effects. Um, definitely the front end, the admin staff is also feeling the effects pretty hard. So just like in any setting, when you have a shorting, uh, short staff, you're going to have increased burden on your existing staff. And when you are asking your existing staff to do more work, there's a higher rate that you're going to likely get more errors or omissions in the process, not on purpose, but just there's so much for them to do. But also that staff that you have isn't likely going to be able to keep up with the amount of prior auths, the follow-ups, the phone calls, the checking the portals at the rate that your full staff would have been able to do. Um, so it can ultimately, again, delay that patient care. It can impact how soon you can get prior offs. You might miss a deadline that an insurance company has set. Like you need to get this to me by this date because your front end, your front staff um, just isn't able to get it at that pace. Or even from a PT perspective, if you're short staff and in the PT and provider world, your therapists aren't completing their notes, likely, unfortunately, until the end of the day, maybe even the next day. And that's going to delay when you can even send out that information to the insurance company, which just adds another day onto that end of when you're before your prior op can even come in. Yeah, really good point. And I already said it before, but you know, it all comes back to the patient. And how do you want the people inside of your clinic interacting with these patients? Do you want them having to follow up on prior authorization requests while you have patients walking in the door? Or do you want them to greet, to greet the patients, make sure you have that relationship building, get them signed up for the next appointment, that type of stuff. So it really comes down to you know, patient care at the end of the day. And now, you know, we love our partnership with Raintree. So here's, here's a plug for Raintree. But we've talked about a lot of challenges today from prior authorization to getting the right insurance, uh, the right information from the patients to staffing shortages to compliance. So how does Raintree help solve physical therapy practices with, with all these challenges that we talked about today? Yeah, so Raintree is a very powerful solution. Um, we leverage validators to ensure the required information received uh, prior to plant claims or prior auths going out for submission. Um, again, really leveraging that automation to increase efficiency and workflows. We have dashboards, exception reporting to target human interactions for increased impact and follow through. Um, we really have a solution from you know, your single site to your largest enterprise clients um, to increase impact across all practice sizes in all disciplines. Um, you know, if you want to reach out, you can always reach out to raintreeinc.com as well. But we are a great solution for PT practices. Yeah, and I'll echo what you say. Um, I work with a lot of clients that, that are on Raintree, and it's a very robust solution, and it really takes care of all of your needs. So it's a very powerful solution. And if you don't know about Raintree, you should go check out their website because um, it can really help your practice. Yeah, there's so much more I could say about it, but, you know, time's limited. <laughs> And now let's talk about how we're integrated, you know, Raintree and Infinix together. So, you know, I know we have an, a an API integration where, 
you know, information will flow back and forth and they'll take care of your insurance verification benefits and prior authorization. Um, so can you explain kind of the importance of, of, of our relationship? Yeah, so being integrated with uh, Infinix has been really great for our clients. It's been able to help reduce the burden on their staff. Um, it's increased the automation and the information that gets sent out typically, not with Infinex or when you're looking for information from prior offs from other services, sometimes they're going to be pulling that information back in and it's not enough detail. It's really looking at like the medical benefits and not the PT benefits. And with Infinex, we're able to pull back specific PT physical therapy or rehab benefits. And that is obviously key to our clinics. Um, they need to know all of that information. And we're also seeing faster turnaround times for getting off, which is great. Yep, absolutely. And, and just to kind of echo some of the things that you've talked about. So um, turnaround times is a big burden of practices that, that we assist with. You can get your insurance verification benefits done with a click of a button through our integration. Um, you know, you can send clinicals, receive approval letters all through the integration itself. Um, and it's really going to streamline your, your revenue cycle workflow. So, um, you know, it, it's very important for us. And I know it's been a successful, successful partnership so far and looking forward to keep on growing. And that kind of brings me to my last point. So, you know, you know, as Infinix and Raintree continue to work together, you know, what can people kind of look forward to in terms of the improvements of our solution? Yeah, I'm, I think Raintree and Infinix have a really good relationship together. We're working, you know, hard to make sure that our end clients are getting the most out of it, getting the most detail, um, but also to help with their workflow. So we're going to continue to look at ways to improve workflow, to make it as automated as possible. Um, we're we continue to work on tasking to assist with improved workflows and also enhancing the data elements that are being sent to Infinex to make sure that we're improving and increasing our accuracy of the, what we're getting back. Absolutely. And, you know, we're working to improve every single day and automation is always at the top of our mind and we want to automate as much as possible. So that's one thing that I know we're looking forward to. Um, and, and, you know, as we keep on going, we'll keep on improving. Yeah. And I do see that we have one uh, question from an anonymous attendee. So I'll just go ahead and ask you, Katie, see what, see what your thoughts are. Um, so they asked, how much time do you notice that your clients save when using your solution? I'm guessing they're talking about Raintree. Um, and what tasks do they not have to do anymore? So I think that, I mean, particular to Raintree, I think that's going to vary from um, client to client based upon what, what they're starting with. So I don't have... Uh, a great answer for that. Um, but it's definitely what we've heard back from clients that have switched over to Raintree is that it is a significant time saver all because of all of the automation and kind of behind the scenes things that we're able to do. Um, but then in regards to Infinex, you know, we can initiate same day off, um, Typically, we are getting offs back within 24 to 48 hours. So all of that has been really nice for our clients because it's really saving time on the follow-up of not needing to reach back out to those insurance companies every 24 or 48 hours, depending on what they are. It's all being done behind the scenes. Yeah, and that's a big part of it, especially looking at prior authorizations. It's not just initiating the request with the payer. It's following up. And, you know, you might have to follow up you know, three to five times to really get your authorization. And that's important. And some of those get, get, get left through the cracks. So that's a big time saver right there. And, and just keeping track of that, you know, on your own is, is, is a large time allotment. So, um, yeah, I think faster turnaround times, quality improvement, um, and just making sure that your patients, you know, come in and you know that you're going to get paid because you checked their insurances before they walked in the door. That type of stuff is super important. Um, we had another question come in basically just asking for specific examples or case studies where the Infinix Rain Tree integration um, improved physical therapy practices. I don't know if you had any on top of your head, uh, Katie. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a relatively new integration, so I don't have any case studies um, right now. It's definitely something that, you know, if they get back to you, I'm sure that we can figure out uh, a more specific example. Um, so what was what was the other part of that question? Um, on how we improved. Yeah. yeah. And 
Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> yeah. You go. Go ahead. Go ahead, Katie. So I think the biggest improvement is really reducing the burden on that front end staff. Um, and kind of what we were just talking about that all of the workings that are being done behind the scenes and letting your staff go back into actually interacting with patients and following up that way and not needing to deal with the insurance part of it. Absolutely. And, you know, to give some some real life um, context behind behind this, I've been working with Raintree clients, you know, for the past, you know, almost two years. Um, one of them for about two years, an, another large one for about a year. And these are very large groups that have very robust um, operations. So uh, we work with very large practices with Raintree. Um, these, these networks have clinics in different states, um, you know, hundreds of locations. So very, very complex operations that we're working with. So um, I can say that it's been successful. Um, and, you know, we're continuing to improve every single day. Um, oh, we have one more question. They want us to talk about reauthorizations or reconfirming authorizations when insurance has changed at the beginning of the year. Um, did you have any insight into that? Yeah, so with the uh, um, eligibility, at least, that's most of our clinics are going to run that eligibility again at the beginning of the year to make sure, you know, policies are up to date and everything. So you're going to get back that information. Um, and then that is also something that we're working on towards. Um, with ability to, you know, extend an off, not extend it off, but extend the off or get that secondary off that you might need to continue. Yep. And then when, when Infinix receives a case, it, it's identified as, is this a new authorization request? Is this an extension request? Or is this a continued care request? Um, and both of those three things obviously have different meanings in the prior auth world, but we can identify that when we receive it and then we'll process the case um, you know, accordingly. And then talking about the beginning of the year, January, my favorite month, um, gotta, gotta re-verify everybody on the schedule to make sure they have active insurance. So we've already gone through that once uh, and yeah, we're prepared for it moving forward. So uh, we, we, know, we know the landscape and we're ready for it. And I think that's everything we have today, Katie. We really appreciate you jumping on. You've been uh, super helpful. You've been great on camera. So we love that, love that you had us. And, and thank you for all the help that, that you put into our partnership. Thanks. It's been, it's been really a great partnership. And I'm glad to be working alongside you. Great. Well, thanks so much. Thank you.